Ernie, um, got a little closer. We're gonna do some uh, ballistics testing. Oh. He has a uh, what is it? The Hornady. Hornady. Twenty uh, grain. Twenty grain. Hollow point. Yeah. And I've got my ballistics gel set up right there. He's gonna take his shot first, and then I'm gonna take my two shots. Um, both. The first shot I'm gonna take is a jacketed copper jacketed lead hollow point. 40 grain, and then the second one is going to be a 36 grain non-jacketed lead hollow. Yep. Alrighty, now hold on. Here, camera. You want to check? You want to check to see the path of it? After I take my two. It might. Well, that's going to probably distort. Well, here, go for real quick. And as you can see, it did not travel all the way through. No shit. It stopped. Uh -oh. A lot of deterioration from the bullet, though. That's right in the front. Wow, it didn't go through. Nope. Any... Wow. I'm really surprised it didn't. Yeah, I mean, especially that small round, traveling that that fast. Should I get the, should I get the uh, shotgun? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, now, like I said, the Copper jacketed lead hollow point, 40 grain, and second one's gonna be the 36 grain non jacketed lead hollow point. Man, gotta love this clip. Well, a lot of people are complaining about the stock plastic clip having some issues. I'm not having too much luck with these aluminum ones. Try it again. Alrighty. Looks like a rift through gel on the top. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it went, yeah, it was a little high. So it hit the top, went straight out. Yours come out. Came out the back there and hit right here. Yeah, but it also, I didn't hit it on the side. It was more of an angle from the top. But yeah, my uh, the 40 grain jacketed hollow point. The gamble guy out. Gamble right there.